Sis, first of all, could you tell us about the injury that you sustained at Clandidno? Yeah, it was the, um, the head injury. I had a double fracture in my skull, um, which I wouldn't I wouldn't wish my worst enemy really, but um, it was very serious. And um, yeah, I'm just lucky to be able to still play football really, because um, obviously you can see the story of Ryan Mason. He wasn't as fortunate as myself, so um, it was very serious. But um, I'm, I've gone through through past it now, so um, yeah, just we moving on. And they talk about lightning strikes twice. Well, a friendly behind closed doors at Wolverhampton Wanderers. Another injury. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, that's my luck in the last two years. Um, I had a torn ACL and uh, damaged my meniscus on my knee. So um, that was a serious one. I uh, needed an operation on that. And um, yeah, it's been six months actually this Saturday just gone. So I'm, I'm nearly there, I'm doing little bits and bobs with the first team now, so um, I'm, I'm, I can see the light, I just need to, <laughs> need to grab it now. So. Well, we're not dwelling on the negatives, of course, just painting the picture there uh, of two quite serious injuries, but the road to recovery, that's quite a, a lonely road sometimes. Yeah, of course it is, you know, those hours you spend in the gym on your own, um, you know, I've been in there for the last six months really, so because I've started recovery day after day, the operation so um, um it is it is hard mentally that's for sure it's, it's, it's very draining but um you know i love football i want to i want to get back on that pitch and like i said i've been fortunate more than the others like i said with the head injury you know mason wasn't as fortunate he had to quit for for medical reasons so um i just i'm just happy to 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 be nearly there again and hopefully this time the injuries will will bypass me and the support of the club and your fellow professionals here at the New Saints. How important is that? Yeah, very important, very important. The staff, the staff's been great. Um, they've supported me all the way through. So the players, you know, every little step I do, they, they encourage you and they, they happy even to, you know, do a bit of run on the pitch and they encourage you. So um, it's, been, it's been very, very helpful because um, it is sometimes a lonely, lonely path when, you, when you're doing your own stuff and that. So, um, yeah, it's been very, very mentally, you could say, up, 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 bringing really. So um, I'm very, very grateful for the support I've had around me. Well, we've used the word mental in that sense uh, several times in our conversations privately. How, how important is it to keep that mental attitude 100%? Yeah, of course it is. Um, you know, it's easy to give up, and and you know, in in, in life, really in general, over whatever you do, whatever job it is, um, you've got to be mentally strong and and, and just keep on going, really. You know, life's not easy, and um, that's the way I've, I've, I've been thinking about. I've got a little boy in the family, and uh, you just have to sort of push yourself every day. Um, you know, I was in pain, I don't know how many times, over the last two years, but you have to sort of keep on pushing, and for, for, for any, any, I wouldn't say any youngster, any personal, um, any, any person, it's important for them to, to, to not give up and keep on going. So, um, and that's, that's the way I've been looking at it. You know, every, do little steps, and um, I've had a few setbacks, but you know we've been looking forward um, every day. So like I said, I can see the light now. I just need to just need to grab it. And you can see the light indeed because you've been on the the pitch recently with the players training. How good was it to get back into that? Oh, I, I felt like a little kid, you know, letting me kick a ball again. So um, any little bits and bobs I've been I've been introduced lately because I've obviously I'm I'm nearly there. So I've been doing little warm ups with the team and. A bit of running on the pitch and just being around it really um, that's all I've ever known I've been playing football all my life so it's just good to be around it again and um, just 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 be involved really and like I said I feel like a little kid playing football again and if I come back just as good as I did after my head injury then uh, I, I think I'll be okay well I was there at Glendidno I was there at Wolves when you sustained both those injuries but now we've moved on how far away are you from seriously competing for a first team place again? Um, I'm seeing a specialist tomorrow actually. Um, hopefully, like I seen him two months ago and he said, I'll see you in eight weeks time and hopefully I'll give you a green light to start training back with the team. So um, we'll see what he says tomorrow. And um, the aim is to start training again fully with the first team before the end of the season. I think competitively this season, I won't be able to, I won't be ready in time, but um, I'm looking forward to pre-season, get a proper pre-season in. And then, of course, we look into the European competition. So um, I'm, I'm nearly there, so I'm, I'm, I feel good. And um, hopefully I can just, you know, that last, last little step to be, to be 100%.
Your personal journey on the road to recovery has been one of inspiration to all of us that know you and work with you here at Park Hall. But if there's someone watching this video, perhaps a footballer from a, another club at whatever level, and they've gone through a, a similar injury or in terms of uh, seriousness, what sort of advice would you give them? I think just, just you know, I think you start from the end sort of thing, uh, you know, don't, you know, on a daily basis, like for example, after the operation, you know, you're in, you're in a lot of pain and um, just take day at a time because if you look like, oh, where am I going to be in three months time, four months time, five months time, it's a very, very long road to recovery. So you have to take it day by day and um, just, 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 you know, just don't give up really. It's just, um, you just have to um, just keep on going really. So. Moses, that's great advice. It's also great to be able to do this interview as you continue on that road to recovery. Thank you for your time today. Very much appreciated and all the very best, if not for this season, but certainly for the next one. Cheers, bro.